Okay, the next thing that we're going to do, because uh, in video four we set up the, the Zapier account and connected that with the Google Sheet and sent an email through the Gmail. Now we're going to populate the MailChimp account with the email information that we received from the Google Sheet that they filled out on the Google Form built on the website. So we, the trigger again is going to be the Google Sheet, and we're looking for a new row in there. That's the trigger. And so when that happens, then we're going to add in the MailChimp and add a contact. And so the subscriber email, we choose that as the field. And then some of these things like the opt-in, uh, we don't need a double opt-in. Uh, if they already exist, we're going to update that information, which is rare, but it does happen. And most of the other things here we don't need to worry about. So those are some of the optional items. Uh, but we do want to get their email, and we're going to populate that into the MailChimp account. So when we send out campaigns, it's going to pull all that information. So we're just going to get their name, address, phone number, if they, if they gave that to us. And then we're going to populate that. So we just choose these fields as the data to insert. And then we just continue with that. And so the trigger again is the, um, is the sheet a new row, the action that happens is populating the MailChimp account. So we'll just check through those, make sure we've got those things added. And then again, we'll hit the test and we'll test that connection. And when we know it works, then we will turn this app on. And up there in the upper left, it says Untitled Zap, and we'll actually save that as a, a title that helps us understand what it is. So in this case, it's adding a name to the MailChimp list. And then you can look at all of our zaps to see how, uh, see, see which ones we have. And then you can actually get reports. So you see this one is ready to go. And now we can hit publish. And we'll get it turned on. And there we go. So now we can look at all of the zaps. So in this case, we have the uh, send an email for a new inquiry. And then uh, this one, uh, we didn't title that. So we just go in and change that to uh, the name that we want. We can look at the uh, MailChimp and we can see that names are being populated in there. This is all automatic now from Zapier. So there are the zaps. You can see the email. So everything is working the way it should. It's simple and automated.